Hi, this is James, and today we are going to be starting a new thing. I thought I'd try out. Today we are starting our book series, and today we are reading 365 Penguins. This is personally one of my favorite books from as a kid, and I read it all the time. It was a really good book, and I'm going to read it to you guys, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, 365 Penguins by Jean Luce Formont and Joey Jolt. Jolvent. This book has some big and great illustrations. One day at nine o'clock in the morning, a delivery man rang our doorbell. I opened the box, a penguin. Who sent us such a strange gift? We looked for the, sen- the sender's name all around the box, but we found nothing. Look, said my sister Amy, I'm number one. Feed me when I'm hungry. Strange, said my father. The next morning, ding dong, penguin number two. On the box, there was still no name, no address, nothing. Only a note slightly different this time. I am number two, and like number one, I need you to take care of me. Then the day after, ding dong, penguin number three, anonymous like the others. This time the note says, there's always a three after two. Please take care of me so that I don't catch the flu. This is getting weirder and weirder. And it went on like that until the end of the week. On Sunday, we had seven penguins in our house. On Monday morning during breakfast, we had a big discussion about naming the penguins. Alfred, Dopey, Moose. No need to argue, Mommy said. I don't think. Ding dong. We're going to keep them. At the end of January, there are 31 penguins in the house. No more, no less. February has only 28 days. Each morning, another penguin arrived. That made 31 plus 28. Question mark, question mark. 59 penguins. And the number 60 on the next day. But there was a problem. What should we do? with all these penguins. You can see it in the little corner right there. It says 59 penguins right there. Here's the picture. Just like a little hint or something. Give them away, Mommy suggested. Daddy had a better idea. We should organize them. Four times fifteen equals sixty. Dave said, "You only have to know how to count." Ding dong. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> they're just like all going crazy because there's so many penguins. On April the 10th, exactly, penguin number 100th arrived. This is this weird sense of humor reminds me of someone, Mommy said. I am number 100 and 101. You'll take care of me 100%. After, after the first three-digit number, our problems really began. Here are some of them. One feeding the penguins. Each penguin ate 2.5 pounds of fish per day. 2.5 times 100 penguins, 250 pounds. A pound costs three dollars. 750 dollars per day. No, 2.5 pounds times 101. (laughs) 
taking care of the penguins. We didn't have to clean them, but me first. I'm late. Arg! I hate penguins. Penguins, penguins everywhere. Black and white in my hair. Two or three would be quite nice. But hundreds more. Let's think twice. Bathroom, bedroom, closet, kitchen. I've had enough. It's time to ditch him. Amy, it's right. It's time to make a serious decision. Three, housing the penguins. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Ted, get the saw and hammer. Basically, penguins are like eggs. How do, how do you arrange eggs? In boxes of dozen. Exactly. Twelve boxes of twelve penguins. Go. We'll even have room left over. The days went by and the penguins piled up. On May 24th, we had 144 penguins. The next day, our problems started all over again. It says, here, my name is Chili. Because he has blue feet. If you look at the very one in the door. When summer arrived, there were new complications. The heat. Penguins are not used to warm climates. When the temperature rises, they become restless. Noise. 180 restless penguins sound like a playground in recess. Quack, 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 quack. Let's not talk about the other problems. We can't stand the smell. Find a solution. So Daddy placed around a circle. Penguins meet your match. Mommy jumped into action. Amy went crazy. Arg! Penguins do! <laughs> On the 4th of August, the gleam of hope, Daddy found a new way of storing the penguins. A cube, 6 times 6 times 6, is 219 penguins. Unfortunately, there was a short-term solution. Here's another one. This is a silly sense of humor reminds me of someone. 217 is here, and the end isn't near. Sorry, I had to skip a few pictures because we're running low on time. Once you've reached the point of no return, one penguin or more penguin less each day doesn't make much of a difference. You live penguin, you think penguin, you dream penguin, you become penguin. Before we could say quack, it was the end of the year. On December 31st, we had 365 guests in our dinner jacket were in the house, but we had a New Year's Eve on the lawn. Ding dong! Three hundred sixty-four, three hundred sixty-five. You're all here, my dears. Even you, little chilly with your blue feet. Who is it? It's your uncle Victor, the ecologist. Then Uncle Victor explained to us, as you know, the planet is heating up. The ice caps are melting year after year. These lovely birds of the South Pole see their territory get smaller and smaller. To increase their chances of survival, I, tried, I decided to introduce them to the North Pole. But unfortunately, you can't export exchange species, so I found it an expensive but secret way sending one penguin a day to your family during the year. One day a male, the other day a female. 182 couples equals 364 penguins. Plus a little chili, who is so cute with his little blue feet. That's 365 penguins. Your Uncle Victor is, so, is not so crazy, but he still has a terrible sense of humor. Then Uncle Victor left with all his penguins except one. We'll take care of you, chili. And life starts to return to normal, but the next day the delivery came to the door. Ding dong! I'm number one, and please feed me when I'm hungry. And that is the end of 365 Penguins. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the book.